Good afternoon. This is Universal News Media. Today is March 9th, 2018. Today we will see why the morning eastern sky is very heavily chemtrailed. We think there are three objects rising in the morning and some of this video footage supports that. These images just came in today from the Federal Aviation Weather Cams scattered across Alaska and Canada. All videos are in time-lapse mode with each frame equal to 10 minutes. Our first video came from the Northeast Facing Weather Cam in Key Lake, Saskatchewan in Canada. Something is glowing in the morning sky directly above the sun. The southeast facing weather cam at Stony Rapids, Saskatchewan also shows a distinct separate object rising with the sun. The sun has now developed a halo. In past days these sun halos were a very rare sighting. Now they are an everyday occurrence, most likely from the prism installed on the flashlight sun, which is a very intense light source installed between the earth and the sun much closer to the earth. Its function is explained in many of our other videos. The southwest facing weather cam in Rocky Mountain House, Alberta in Canada showed a very bright pink sky just before this camera was taken offline today. The northeast facing weather cam at Dawson Creek, British Columbia in Canada, showed a wildly fluctuating rising sun which pulsated in size and brightness. Notice the flashing landscape. The flashlight sun sometimes does this during an eclipse, indicating that something else is rising with the sun. Within just 10 minutes the sun was eight times larger. This same wildly fluctuating sun was also captured on the northeast facing weather cam in Whistler Radar, British Columbia, Canada. Each frame is 10 minutes apart from the next and look how the sun grows and shrinks dramatically. An eclipse is going on. The southeast facing weather cam at Chicamas Canyon, British Columbia shows the sun wildly flashing and fluctuating in size, growing and shrinking dramatically. Once it calms down, two obvious light sources are rising above the mountains. They become more pronounced and more separate as the morning goes on. And finally, in the last few frames, there appears to be a third light source visible. I believe these are the same three celestial objects that we saw yesterday in this photo from Talkeetna, Alaska. People have been monitoring these three inbound orbs for years. They continue to appear larger every month. Once again we see the three orbs traveling together on the southeast facing weather cam in Bettles, Alaska. This image was taken at 9.30 a.m. local time. This also correlates to the three orbs we just saw rising at Chicamas Canyon just a moment ago. At Chandler Shelf, Alaska, two light sources are peeking up over the mountaintop. The first sun rising is not our sun. It is one of the three light sources we've been seeing each morning rising with our sun. In the following frames, it's obvious that our sun is rising on the right side of the screen and not the left where we saw the bright yellow orb. Our next video comes from the northeast facing weather cam in Shifornik, Alaska, over on the very far west border of Alaska on the Bering Sea. The camera lens is cold and frosty. But this 7.30 a.m. local time picture shows two distinct light sources rising. The flashlight sun's glare overtakes the dimmer light on the left, but for a couple frames two lights were visible on the horizon. The east facing weather cam at Haines Junction, Alaska shows a light source near the treetops on the far right side of the screen but the sun is actually rising in the center of the screen. The south facing weather cam in Yukon, Fort Yukon, captured what looks like one sun rising above the other.
This is something we've seen before. In the last frame, the lower of the two light sources appears to have a third, just to the right of it. This would also correlate with the three light sources we've been seeing. These objects are part of an approaching celestial system. Many people ask when the system will make its closest pass to our Earth. A general indication of time is provided in the following pages of text. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe.